Hi, this is Greg Koopman. In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed common table expressions into your views in Redshift. Before we go to Redshift, first of all, let me show you, I'm a SQL Server guy, and I've done that for 20 years. Um, but let me explain to you, just show you how SQL Server handles a common table expression. Now, a common table expression is, is a very simple, very simple matter here. Like here, I say with ct temp as and then i give it a a, a uh, select command this this video is for people that already know what common table expressions are if you don't know what common table expressions are you you're you know it's a there's a very good technique uh it's, it makes your queries much easier uh and i suggest go ahead and watch some videos on them but this is going to this video is going to assume that you already know all about um common table expressions or otherwise known as CTEs and so basically I just want to go again go back to SQL Server show you how easy it is to go ahead and create a CTE so here's with CTE temp is a select from DBO customer and then after that I do select asterisk from the CTE temp that's all there is to it so when I run that nothing to it it gives me two different um, two different rows right now, when I want to create a view, I guess go ahead and say create view, stick this right inside the view, and run that, and it succeeds. Now, when I go and I go and look at that view, okay, over under views here, on the side, I have my test. It was a, I created called a test, very original, and I go ahead and I want to script it, right? So I create it and I create the script. Here's a script. It looks exactly like the way I coded it with CTE as select exactly the way I coded it and it kept the CTE in there. All right, this is where the problem came in. When I went over to Redshift and I'm developing over in Redshift, my friend, the CTE, had problems getting into the view, okay? Now I didn't really know why, whether it was a Redshift problem that Redshift didn't uh, acknowledge having CTEs inside of its views, um, and I or I thought it would might be a data grip, which is a, uh, is a visual tool I'm using to uh, to host the Redshift uh, and, and manage my code there. Uh, so I and then I googled it, and I really couldn't find anything definitive about it, um, and I just struggled with it because I needed CTEs. I live and die by CTEs. I need those in my views. Uh, without those, very complex views get very difficult to read. Okay, so let's go over to Data Grip and look at my Redshift now and how it acts. Okay, so I'm in Data Grip here and now I'm looking at my Redshift database. Again, a very simple, very, very simple example here. So I have two tables. One is my employee table, which I'm going to run and hit just run it and you'll see at the bottom here for employees I have I just one record my name and then the state code FL and then I have a state table which I also will run and we'll look at that result and I have Florida as my code and the Florida as my name okay or I'm, I'm sorry I have FL as my code and Florida as my name okay so now I come down and I create a CTE there's no problem with creating CTEs and and when I just run normal code in uh, Redshift. So let's just go ahead and run this. I do a CTE. This really isn't that complicated. I really didn't need a CTE, but just to show how this works, I do a CTE for the state, and I do a CTE for the employee, okay? And then I come here and I select from both of those. I join them and I get a result. So let's just run that, make sure that my, what I want to put in the query works. Okay, I look down at my results, say Greg Koopman, Florida. And that's exactly the way I wanted it to work. Now I want to put this into a view. Okay, so I come back down here a little further. I come down to my view, a view. So I want to call this create view data lake, and I'm going to call it CTE disappears after view creation because that's what's going to happen here, and that's why I'm making this video. This was very disturbing. So here I have my view, my my CTE. I have my second CTE. I have my beautiful little select. Okay, so I create the view. And now it's created. Okay, so we're going to wait a couple a minute or two. 
so that it comes over into my visual explorer over here so it looks like it's there so here it is CTE disappears after view creation well let's see if it did disappear so basically I have the view here the way I created it now I'm going to come over here I'm going to right click and I'm going to say SQL scripts I'm going to say generate DDL to console so now look what it did it didn't save my CTE it made it a drive table a drive table in here which I don't want that to be because when I have I might have 10 CTEs in a, in a query and um, by organizing them in CTEs it's a lot easier to read and then when I come down to the final query I, I don't I don't have to do all these embedded derived tables and all this stuff right so this is not what I want okay and I and this is exactly why I'm making this video because I, I was having a very hard time finding any any information on this uh, on why this you know wasn't working right so I was trying I thought well is it data grip and then I tried seek uh, work SQL workbench it did the same thing to me and then I saw some someone else's code that actually had it done and I got the answer so let me show you that what the problem is here so what you need to do to get your your CTEs to show in your view to and to sustain it in your view for you know to persist that code same code in your view is you need to add this with no schema binding at the end now SQL Server by default has no schema binding but Redshift by default apparently is schema binding so what I'm going to do is call this one instead of test let's call it okay so now this before as you remember it's the same exact query with the two CTEs when I didn't have the with no schema binding at the bottom it, it, it got rid of my CTEs okay and made them into derived tables so let's go ahead and do a create view here with the no schema binding I'm going to go here I create it luckily my database is very small and the refresh is pretty, should be pretty quick so now as we look over here we have the hooray for CTE CTEs in Redshift right now let's look at that script generate DDL console and what do we see here we see my with CTE my CTE amp everything's good in the world so that is how you get your CTEs into a view in Redshift I hope you like this video thanks for watching and I hope you watch more of my videos thank you